heading down to get some fruit for Ubi for school tomorrow. Uh, but just want to show you the sunset a bit of focus in. Look how beautiful that is. This is what I like where we live. Um, this is the lake side. I try not to put my hand out too much in case somebody thinks I'm flagging a car down. But we're just getting as the sun starts to drop in the back there. And we're just going to go and grab some food. But the whole point of my channel is about showing it's possible to do this stuff. Um, it's not about boasting stuff, it's not about uh, making money off other people or anything else. Quite simply, we've, we've managed to live abroad now um, a decade. Not a couple of years, not a couple of months, a decade. Oh, come over this side in case the car comes down. Oh, this side in case the car comes down the road there, mate. Um, so, I mean, we managed to stay in the Philippines for eight years. We've still got stuff developing there. We just bought another fridge this week um, because we're opening another apartment up. And we're in the middle of moving some other equipment to make another apartment available. So our stuff in the Philippines continues to develop. Don't really talk about it too much because I can't photograph it. I can't video it. I'm not there. Um, I have tried to get other people to do it, but if you know what it's like trying to get people to do photographs and videos and stuff for you, they do things like hold the camera the wrong way around and don't put enough lighting on it. So if you want to see it, you're quite welcome to visit. Um, there's two apartments available from April. From April? Yeah. There's one? Yeah, because we've got somebody arriving from Portugal. Who's there, who's there for the next 10 weeks. And then we've got um, somebody moving out because their sister's house is finished. So we've got two apartments available from April for long-term rent. We do do some short-term, but the problem you get with short-term, you've got to book it in advance because nine times out of ten if you ask me there's already somebody taking it for long-term rental um that's why they're cheap they're six thousand pesos a month but you've got the internet there um they're furnished don't really need, need much else there location wise it's not far from talisi it's not far from naga it sits in the middle in minglanilla on Cebu. so that suits us here in spain things are starting to move um, financially, we took a bit of a hit because obviously, um, the start of the year, losing April's father was obviously a difficult time on multiple levels. But I will say that currently, my finances are still stable. My finances are still making money. We, at the moment, we're not making a lot of money, but we're making enough. And that's what I want to show it's possible. It's possible to do this, and you know a lot of people go, "Oh, what about your pension?" I'm already saving for my own pension pot. Um, that's another thing I do with things like, "Oh, be this is a road." Um, I do with things like peer-to-peer -peer lending and other investments. The Philippine stuff is a continuous investment program, so eventually, if we said, "Right, we'll move back to the Philippines," it's already sustainable there. Eh? Guys, all red up there now. I don't know if you can see that. Or well, the bus runs me out. Um, but it's already sustainable. But while we're here in Spain, we develop that as a separate income. Um, I've got investments in the UK. Not big investments yet. We're still working on them. But I'm a short of work, short of money. The answer's no. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting where we want to be. But there's nothing stopping other people doing exactly the same. The one thing that does bug me though, and not in the sense of an annoyance or something, is when people troll. Because what, they, what they're trolling against is not against myself. It's against the fact that they don't want to create change for themselves. Or they failed at it. But rather than looking at what went wrong, fixing it and moving forward, they prefer to troll and complain. Um, I haven't had to do anything dubious or anything else. Because, quite simply, why would I be as stupid as some of these guys are troll? Um, I'm not desperate for cash. I can hop on a plane and be in the UK by tomorrow morning. I can get work. 
a job come in today um, it's not paying as much as I would like but there's a job on the table today I'm having a chat with somebody this week relating to a contract that's for 12 months but I'm trying to get them in a similar role to the one I just did with the NHS which is basically managing everything from Spain um, but that is about developing business that's about developing um, an opportunity that sometimes the businesses can't even see because they're not used to people working offshore they're not used to working people outside of the office they like the having the control of you sat in the same room so there's a lot of stuff going on including the will be messing about um, but we're off to go and get some fruit and one thing that's another thing I like about here is we have a proper little greengrocers there and um, actually go and get the fresh produce from the farms all right thanks for chatting